A few years ago, there was a television commercial that showed a young woman taking her boyfriend to meet her aunt for the first time. Just before she knocked on the door, she said, whatever you do, don't say anything about her mole. When the door opened, a young man said, oh, hi, Aunt Mole. <laughs> and you might ask, what does that have to do with leadership or teaching or coaching or anything? Lou Tice, the founder of the Pacific Institute, says that you are teleological in nature and don't let the highfalutin terms fool you. All he says is that words create pictures in your mind and your creative subconscious helps you move towards completion of those pictures. But the mind doesn't have a picture for don't. Don't think about your shoes. Whatever you do, don't think about your shoes. Are they dress shoes? Are they slip-ons? Are they tennies? Don't think about your shoes. How many of you pictured shoes? Again, you might ask, how does this apply to me? Well, since I was a basketball coach for 30 years, let me illustrate with a coaching example. 15 seconds left to go, you're up by one, the other team has the ball, and during the timeout you say, don't foul, whatever you do, don't foul. But what picture did you put into their minds? You need to paint a different picture by describing the positive wanted behavior. Play tough defense, move your feet, keep your hands to yourself, be ready to help out. Words have a huge impact on the pictures you imprint on the mind. So make sure that what people hear from you describes the wanted behavior. You can apply this across the board in your teaching. There's a difference between saying don't be late and you need to get to class on time. Don't talk during the lecture paints a completely different picture than we need to be quiet during the lecture. Or during discussion time, only one person talks, me or the person I call on. And your tone of voice is a great determiner of your success. In the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about the power of positive self-talk and the impact that it has on your teaching and your life in general. In the meantime, be aware of the words that you choose because what you say is what you get.